so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Yeah, I'm so excited. Woohoo, let's go. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! It's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Synapse Circus Center in Auburn, Washington. Whoa, look at this place. Wow, it is so colorful. And this place is where kids can come learn some circus skills. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Coach Crystal, and I'm going to teach you some circus skills today. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the first thing you have to do is take off your shoes. Okay, I got to take off my shoes. Okay, here we go. One shoe, two shoes. All right, now that my shoes are off, now we get to learn. <laughs> Whoa, check this place out. It's so cool. Looks like we have a lot of cool things over here. Whoa, yeah, it looks like juggling balls. <laughs> we'll get to those later. Feathers, what are these doing here? That's <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look. Looks like tight wires. I am so excited to balance on these later. Wow, a trampoline, these are so bouncy. I really want to jump on this, but I probably shouldn't until I warm up and stretch. Yeah, whoa, look at this. Looks like a bar that you can hang on. Whoa, oh, an aerial fabric. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color purple. Oh, and over here, Another one! This is the color yellow. <laughs> okay, enough playing. Let's get warmed up so then we can stretch and have some fun. Oh, hey! Hi, Blippi, you ready to warm up? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna run to the blue wall and then we're gonna run back to get our buddies all ready to go. Okay. Ready? Let's go! Check it out, I'm running! Whoa! All right, let's make our circle in the middle of the car. Okay. Arm circles backwards. We have to get our arms all ready to hang on the aerial fabric and the trapeze. Wow. All right, I'm... let's go forward now like you're swimming. Okay, check it out. I'm making big circles with my arms. All right, let's sit down in our butterfly. Put your toes together and make a butterfly. Oh, check it out. I'm flapping like a butterfly. Yeah, butterflies start as caterpillars they go through metamorphosis, and then they become beautiful butterflies. <laughs> okay, close your wings and squash them flat. We're gonna blast off to the moon. Grab those toes. Ready? Five, four, four three, two, two, one. Blast Whoa. off! All right, we're gonna do it one more time. This time we're gonna start at three. Three, three two, two, one. one. Yeah! <laughs> All right, go ahead and stand back up. You feel warmed up? Yeah! All right, let's go do some circuit stuff. Woohoo! Let's go! Whoa, that was really good. Did you see how high she was jumping? Yeah! Whoa! And look at what she's doing. <laughs> it is so cool how kids can come here and learn circus skills. Whoa, look at her! Whoa, she's using that aerial, aerial silk so good! Check it out! Wow, look at this area! This is so cool! Do you see these big pieces of paper behind me? Yeah, they have things written on them. Yeah, like goals. And once you accomplish that, you get to write your name on the board. Let's check it out! Straddle up in the air! Whoa! That means all these people that wrote their names on here, yeah, they accomplished that. Like Neil, Alyssa, Jonah, Zoe. Wow, good job. Whoa, let's see what else. Um, wow, straight leg cartwheel. Whoa, that's hard. But look at all the people that did it. Whoa, that is so cool. Ooh, six club passing. Wow, now that is hard. Yeah, not one single person accomplished it. 
Whoa, that's crazy! Hmm, I have an idea. What if I pick one of these and try and accomplish it today? That sounds like so much fun! Um, oh, here we go. Stand up with no hands, forward roll. Oh, that seems fun. It's like a somersault, but then at the end, when you stand up, you can't use your hands. Yeah, I think I should try that. This is gonna be fun! Yeah, I did it! <laughs> Here's the pen! You can go write your name on the board now! Really? This is awesome! Oh, yeah! Whoa, yeah! Okay, here we go. Now it's time to write my name. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Wow, that was awesome. There are so many cool things. Whoa, what are these? Wow, kind of looks like a rainbow. Whoa, yeah, we have some purple. Whoa, purple rings. Whoa, check it out. Then we have some blue rings. We have some green rings. We have yellow. We have some reddish rings. They kind of look orange. Let's just say they're red. And we have some pink rings. Whoa, that is so cool. They're so colorful. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, a ring is a circle. Check it out. <laughs> whoa, maybe I can juggle with these. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Funny. Check it out. You can even spin them on your arm. Whoa. What if I tried that with a lot of them? This is going to look so cool. Ready? Whoa, whoa. 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 <laughs> That's fun. Check this out. This is called a pancake flip. You can practice by going like this. Yeah. Try and make it flip. And watch this. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, let me put these back. Can't forget this one. Okay, now that those are organized and put back in their place, maybe we can use other things. Whoa, like this. This looks like a peacock feather. Wow, peacocks are so pretty. Huh, have you ever seen a peacock before? Wow, yeah. They can spread their wings out and it looks so graceful. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this peacock feather and try and balance it. Okay, put it on my finger. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Yeah, I'm balancing it. I'm trying not to drop it on the ground. Whoa! You can do it by standing in the same area, or maybe I can do it while moving. Whoa! Whoa! This is hard! <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Ready? Let's try and put it on my nose. Whoa! Whoa! I'm balancing it! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah, that's so silly. Wow, balancing is so much fun. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, it looks like we have some, oh, <laughs> some rods. And we have 
some plates. How many plates did I grab? Yeah. One, two, three plates. And what colors are these? Yeah. Blue, red, yeah, and yellow. <laughs> okay, let's take the blue one, which is one of my two favorite colors, and give it some spin. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, you see it spinning and balancing? Yeah, well hey, these plates are plastic. You definitely shouldn't try this at home with your plates at home. If they fall, they'll break. Whoa, yeah, these are circus plates. Whoa, spin, 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 ready? Whoa, I'll try that again. Whoa, did you see that? Here we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, I won't try it again. <laughs> okay, let me put these back and see what else we have. Wow, check these out. So many juggling balls. Yeah, you know me. I sure do like juggling, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they're so colorful. Check it out. That one reminds me of a bee. Yeah. Bees are so great because they make honey. Yum. I love honey. Okay. Looks like this is red and black and blue and white, green and black. Okay, I'm gonna pick three of these. How about uh, these three? <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna start on my knees and start to juggle. Whoa, juggling is so much fun. It's pretty tricky though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But with a lot of practice, you can do a lot of cool things. <laughs> yeah. All right, now watch this. I'm gonna juggle this many. Ready? Okay, this is gonna be really tricky. Here we go. <laughs> that was so silly. All right, I should probably pick these up. All right, let's see what else is over here. Whoa, check it out. Hula hoops. Yeah, I love hula hoops. Yeah. Let's grab a few of these. All right, come on over here. Wow, I grabbed three hula hoops. Yeah, what colors are these hula hoops? Yeah, this one is orange, yellow, and red. Wow, <laughs> what a cool hula hoop. Yeah, and this one, yeah, is blue and a shiny silver. Whoa. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite color? Wow, that's a great color. My two favorite colors are blue and orange. And this one, yeah, is the color purple and the shiny silver sparkle. Yeah, let's use this one. All right, I'm gonna first try and spin it on my arm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, wee, <laughs> woo, <-hoo. laughs> check this out. Yeah, all right, here we go. I have an idea. Now that they're on the ground, I think we should spread them out and try and hop through them. Yeah, all right, how about like a frog? Ribbit, ribbit, <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> yeah, good job. so much fun learning all these circus skills. Yeah! Whoa! 
Check it out. Yeah, remember this? This is the tight wire. Whoa. Yeah, and you and I are going to try and balance on this. It looks really hard because how small it is. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's try this. <laughs> All right, step right up here onto this platform, and then you're going to stand up so tall and walk through the rest. All so right. I'm going to be right here in case you fall. All right, perfect. Here I go. Whoa. 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 Oh, I fell. That's okay. I'll try it again. Here we go. Whoa! I fell again. That was so much fun, though. All right, let me try for a third time. Here we go. I got this. Whoa, check it out. I'm really doing it. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! I did it! Did you see that? Yeah, that was really hard. And it feels so good to accomplish something that was extra hard. Good job! <laughs> okay, first, I'm gonna start with a roll. Here we go! Whoa! All right, now for the balancing. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> now for the arm walk. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This has been so much fun. Yeah. But this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P Woohoo! So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout with me.
Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout. Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we'll be meeting some amazing sea creatures. This is going to be awesome. Let's check them out. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout. Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live. Oh, <laughs> so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow. Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are going to learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go. my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow, are those sharks right there? They sure are, they're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting, but hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow, check this place out. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rocks surrounding it. Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, check out this tank. Oh, looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello. Hey. Wow. They're just swimming around and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa. And she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow! Such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa! Check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow. These are both hermit crabs. Whoa! Yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa! Check out what happens when I pick it up. It's gonna go inside the shell. All right. Whoa! Did you see that? Whoa! Yeah, it used to be outside the shell, 
but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa, it's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa, and this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh, and this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out. A giant sea turtle. Whoa, sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful, just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so big. Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa, a giant sea lion. Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and it's so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. Boop. And then it crawls around, and then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut and halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal this is? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorses. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. 
Whoa, a couple more. Yeah, check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Whoa, check it out. Hey, what is this? This is one of our crab pots, and by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look wow. a lot like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa, can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right, okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay. So that one is a girl and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I like acting like a crab. Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep learning. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun Blippi, Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Blippi So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Blippi Hey, it's me Blippi And look at all the items that I have Whoa, so many random things but hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. 
Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Airplanes, airplanes, 
Some are as small as a car. That's amazing! Some airplanes transport people. Some fly near to the stars. That's four! Some airplanes fly with propellers. Some airplanes fly with jet engines. I love to look up and see their wings waving down at me. Some airplanes fly just for fun. Some fly for business trips. Business or pleasure. You can make an airplane out of paper. Throw it in the air and watch it go. I love to look up and see its wings waving down at me. much fun learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
It's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out. Come on. Place. It's so cool! Whoa! And this is the cockpit! <laughs> yeah! Inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa! <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, and look, there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah, we have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. <gasps> it's a giant fire truck. <laughs> Uh-oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello, wheel. <laughs> Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah. Vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy. Whoa, the waves are going so fast and they're so huge. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> the water is nice and cool, yeah. Because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> This is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, whoa. It moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> we did it. That was an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big, and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans, and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. 
It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! Whoa! Whoa! And look at this! This is really cool! It's a submarine! <laughs> yeah! And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater. And it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa! Look at all of the boats! <laughs> There's so many! Yeah, we have one, two green boats, and we have one, two purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats! <laughs> These are so cool! And if you have an orange boat, and a blue boat, you have Blippi Boats! Woo! <laughs> this is so cool! There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa! And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. Bye-bye, <laughs> octopus! Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle, and it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. Look at it. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square, and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself, whoa! And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures, hmm. So let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. Hmm. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And Let's grab two blue squares, and hmm, we're almost done, but I think we should make two, hmm, let's use an orange, and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle, King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah, 
And when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, the other gear will turn too. And now the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> this is so much fun. This place is amazing. Look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, it's really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> Hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands, and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. Oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling all right. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Flippy. You know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? <laughs> yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Got just the thing. Come over here, we'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna wanna step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa. 
This place is so cool. And look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> and hmm, we have some green. Ooh. And it's got some confetti in it. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, oh, this paint is gold and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> I have a brush and some paint. And now we just need to think about what should we paint? Well, you can start with something really easy. Maybe make a gold smiley face. <laughs> One eye, two eyes, and a really big smile. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's so happy. Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> This was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Hi, Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. <laughs> and today we're here at Feast on this <laughs> in San Diego, California. Whoa, and I am so excited because today you and I get to learn about a catering company. <laughs> yeah, they make all kinds of tasty food at special events like birthdays ooh, <laughs> or weddings. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Look at this really cool kitchen. And hey, who's this over here? Hello, <laughs> it's me, Blippi. Hi, Blippi. Hi, what's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and this is Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hello, I'm Chef Matthew Baker. I am the owner of Feast on This Catering Company. And guess what? I'm deaf, so that's why I have an interpreter who's here with me so we can communicate. Ooh, that's so cool. Hey, I have an idea. I bet Chef Matthew will help us cook some yummy food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're all ready to get started. 
<laughs> Great, come on over. Come on. Whoa. So, Chef Matthew, what are we cooking today? Hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna make fruit pizza. Ooh. And it's gonna look like this when it's all done. Whoa, look at it. It's a pizza, but it's covered with different types of fruit. <laughs> And I'm really excited because I love pizza. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, Chef Matthew, what's the first thing we need to do to make the fruit pizza? Hmm. Okay, well, I am excited to have Chef Blippi with us today. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. So can you take this and rip this part off? Okay. And put down the crust. Okay, first, Gonna open this up, unwrap it, right? Then, <laughs> just like that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at it! <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, we're gonna take this out. Whoa! <laughs> look at it! Whoa! <laughs> okay, and now we unroll it. We're gonna make it really flat. See, like this. Here we go. If we can unroll. This is so sticky. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be done. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> now we move on to step number two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, it in the oven at 350 degrees. That means it's time to dance. Best thing to do while you wait for your pizza crust to finish cooking is have a lot of fun dancing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm pretty tired after all that dancing. I think we should keep on working on the other ingredients and we'll come back and get the crust a little later. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> okay, so cream cheese, awesome. And I guess- So we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese, which is in that bowl. And now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Okay. Can you hand me that half a cup measure? Yeah, half a cup. Yeah, right here. Half a cup. Okay. And we're gonna fill it up. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the sugar. It looks like snow. Whoa! It's so cool. And it's really soft when you touch it. <laughs> I bet this is gonna make it so tasty. Okay, so we take the sugar and we're just gonna put it on top. Oh wait, you're gonna make a mess. You have to put on an apron first. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Silly me. <laughs> Here we go. You don't wanna have a sugar mess. Yeah, always make sure you put on an apron so you don't get your clothes covered in powdered sugar or other food. Okay, I think I'm just about. You need help? Ready, <laughs> okay. thanks. So you can put that in. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Okay, so now what do we do next? Oh, now you're gonna put in two tablespoons of pineapple juice, which is right there. Okay. Here we go. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. Okay. One tablespoon. Woo. <laughs> and two tablespoons. Whoa, it's looking really tasty already. Okay. And now you can mix it up. Ooh, okay. I guess we get to mix it up. Here we go. 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the oven. And Chef Matthew, he gave me some really nice orange gloves. And they're my favorite color. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get out the crust. Okay, we have the crust right here. Oh, and it looks so flaky and golden brown. I can't wait to eat this yummy crust. <laughs> but let's put a couple more toppings on it because it could taste even better with those. <laughs> let's go. We'll let this cool off a little more. So, what should we do while we wait? Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Now, we're gonna talk about all the fruits that are here on the table. 
So okay. this is a banana. Okay. And we'll cut it up. Now remember, you use a knife, you wanna make sure you have a professional <laughs> like Chef Matthew or a grown up to help you out because they can be a little dangerous. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, really good at cutting. <laughs> I'll try my best too. Here we go. Okay, so now that the banana slice, what do we do with it? Okay, now we have blueberries. Ooh. Blueberries. Ooh. Did you see that? Chef Matthew was teaching us how to sign blueberries in ASL, or American Sign Language. And these are kiwi. Oh, you see these? <laughs> they look so yummy. And there's no sign for kiwi, so you have to spell. Okay. K. K. I. W. W. I. I. Whoa, that was really cool. It's, let's see if we can spell that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> and this time, you can try to follow along with us if you like. Are you ready? So, K. I. W. I. <laughs> Kiwi. Doesn't have a sign, so he just spell it. <laughs> Whoa, and what about this over here? These are strawberries. Whoa, have you eaten a kiwi before? They're so sweet. <laughs> Chef Matthew, do you have a favorite fruit? And I love have, having strawberries all year round, but during the summer, I love eating blueberries. Ooh, I love eating blueberries in the summer too. <laughs> wow, this smiley face has a really big smile. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you missed the nose. Oh no! What are we gonna do for the nose? Hmm, wait a minute, I know. <laughs> we have a strawberry. <laughs> so silly. This is gonna be a really cool nose. <laughs> and I bet this smiley face is really happy because it gets to smell like strawberries all the time. <laughs> okay, here we go. And. We need a little more strawberry so it tastes super good. So let's make some strawberry. Some ears. Yeah, let's put some ears on the side. Maybe add a tongue. Oh, a tongue? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done decorating all of the pizza. Well, this was so much fun learning about ASL and making a really delicious smiley face treat. <laughs> Wait a minute, Flippy. You missed one thing. Hmm. One very important thing to make a perfect pizza. You need the pineapple glaze. The glaze, oh! <laughs> well, I'll let you do this part, Chef Matthew. And I guess we pour the glaze on top. Whoa! Look at it. Whoa! <laughs> the glaze is gonna make it so tasty. <laughs> and really sweet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that looks great! <laughs> Thank you, Chef Matthew. That was awesome! Oh, we did so many amazing things and followed all the steps to make a really yummy pizza for our feast. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you both. <laughs> and it was nice to have a fun time with you. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we spell my name together? Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins! <laughs> Hello! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> hey! We made it onto the boat! <laughs> yeah! This boat is awesome, because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah, look at all the seats. 
<laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here! Yeah! This is a really giant net! Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vents. Look at it! Whoa! Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip. And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. But look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Whoa. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa! That sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, while well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals, maybe Mackenzie can help us! <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. <laughs> What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the Horseshoe Crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look, it looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving. And our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa. So if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm going to put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Look. This is a starfish. It is. Whoa. Look at how cool he is. His back. It's kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet. And that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look, whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm going to put them back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, what are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve, <laughs> just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have Whoa. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve? Mollusk. And this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm gonna let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's, he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> He's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself, but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm going to put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Woo. <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa. Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Whoa. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. 
I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! Drove the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa, this is so cool! Whoa, look, they're so close! Hello, they're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here, there are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, but 
The spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo! <laughs> well, this is really cool seeing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello! <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> they're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa. And come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah. See this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican. Hello, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals, <laughs> yeah. We saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah! And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa! It was so much fun! <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing! <laughs> they were so cool! Whoa! Look at this! It's time for a Bubbles Lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring just one drop. One. And maybe we'll put a second drop. Ooh, that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. All the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Mm. <laughs> They're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. 
<laughs> crabs, and mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals, and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa. Look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm. And I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think it needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles as oil and water they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're going to take some of this plumber's tape. Gonna just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then we can ask a grown-up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna use a little tape and yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't wanna mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape and you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part. Shaking it up! Whoa! Look at it! It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean! <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life! <laughs> this was so much fun! We made an ocean in the bottle, we saw dolphins in real life, we visited Bird Island, and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Make learning fun, blippy, blippy. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippy! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippy! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures. Oh, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. 
These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow. This is so cool. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange. My two favorite colors. Wow. Glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up, really hot. Yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, here we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy. Yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. I kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. <laughs> Nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> That is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa, is this true? Is this true? <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Whoa, and down here, whoa, looks like we have 
a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa. Check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, and this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> so cool! Whoa! What are they doing? Whoa! Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig, I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, what are you doing? We are blowing glass, we're making hearts. Like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome! <laughs> Kind of look like tweezers. making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this part. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that part. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! 
Now, I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it! Yeah! Oh, that's really fun! Alright! There we go! <laughs> this is so much fun! Whoa! Alright, now we're heating it up. I chose. Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah. It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. it is very hot. Okay. Now roll it. Whoa. Just like that. Keep rolling. Whoa. Oh. Just like that. Keep rolling. Oh. Okay. Just keep going. And then now you can and then you can stop. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when you cover up with more hot glass that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey. But I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat, here we go. Whoa. Okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it. But I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then, how about right there? Wow. A little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod.
now we're keeping that back turn point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. so much fun at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> And then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then, I got to make a heart. Yeah! Do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah! Blue and orange! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is! Wow! We did such a good job making this heart. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah! And then, when they were really hot, yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey, <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy! Good job! Alright! Bye-bye! <laughs>
I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo! And then our right leg. And do the harness dance. <laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now, the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah. So we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. <laughs> yeah. And now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first. And then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these cool stools <laughs> and ropes. Yeah. They're all different colors. Do you know what colors all these ropes are? Yeah. This is the color red. We have the color black, ooh, <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite, the color blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, all of these different obstacles that I'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's okay. You and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course, <laughs> yeah. one has a bunch of fossils for feet for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going. Come on. We've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. Let's go. This is going to be so much fun. Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look, it's my really good friend. Hey, Jake. Hi, Buffy. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah. <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah. So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Ooh, one of my favorite foods is broccoli. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer. We can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I? time doing the ropes course and see who wins. It'll be a blippy competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on.
I did it. That was so much fun. That was really fast. That was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's called a hexagon. Woo! <laughs> well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Bye Jake. See you Blippi. Woo. <laughs> hey. I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race. Hello! <laughs> Over here! Woo! <laughs> I'm up here! Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Looked like you beat me. <laughs> that was really fun. Whoa. <laughs> Good job racing with me. Whoa, look over here. Hey, you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look, we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm. 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. <laughs> And then, to the right of the clock, we add the number 
three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands. <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay. You take our little arrows, we're gonna put them on the clock. Then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm, what does six o'clock look like? The little hand, we move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm, I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Whoa, yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock! And that gave me a really good idea! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance! <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat, and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves! <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one, we're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> What time is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. We learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> Hello, friends. It's me, Blippy. Today, we're visiting animals. Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're going to see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see 
Ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow. Oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. Yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay, ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some Good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. And Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, 
check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> well, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby! Oh, so cute! <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello! I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, 
Yeah, this is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big! <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello! Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go.